this particular product was um, <clears throat> introduced uh, as a as a measure down in Massachusetts when uh, in Massachusetts area one there is a big collection of the right whales um, up in Cape Cod Bay and the um, local lobstermen were uh, shut down between January and May, which was a significant part of their season. Um, they came to us to um, come up with a hollow braid solution that works basically like a big Chinese finger puzzle. That's what this is. There have been fishermen down in, um, in Massachusetts that have had them in the water, using them on a daily basis, for the last seven years without a gear failure. We found these to be as durable and also as UV resistant um, easily as the ropes that are commonly being used as pop wood. I'm gonna show you how to hook two pieces of rope together with it. In some cases, the fishermen will be cutting their sink rope probably and just hooking it in between two pieces of the same rope to meet the requirement of uh, halfway down your vertical line. <clears throat> so what I'm going to start off doing first, I'm going to mark the center of the Nova braid, the marker. I guess you could use a piece of tape on there, whatever you'd like. And how long is that piece weighing? This is a six foot piece. And that's what Nova braid recommends using, six feet. <clears throat> you can cut them shorter. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to go by what they recommend. I'd rather have more on there, make sure it's got a good grip on my rope when I'm putting the strain to it, because you have to have some caught down occasionally. It'd be a good idea if you can retrieve them. So how I do this is to get started, I take a fit. I come down approximately four and a half, five inches. Get the fit started into the Nova braid. That way you're not cutting anything, it's not unraveling. Nice and smooth. In goes the 3 8 rope. Take the fit, toss it to the side for the time being. You keep working that down. They call it caterpillar, and I guess a cater, use it like a caterpillar, crawls across the floor. There it is, right there. There's my black mark, I'm halfway. So I work this down away from the halfway point to get that braid tight. That's just a braided sleeve on top of that. You don't want to leave it all puckery because if it's puckery it's going to be loose. There's my sink rope. I'm hooking sink to float. I usually spend some time working right there where they meet each other. I make sure that braid is good and snug. You don't want a whole lot of stretch. You're going to get some stretch when you haul it through the hollow eventually anyway. A little bit. But I'm trying to keep it as close together and tight as possible. Yeah, now we're going to take care of these loose ends. It's pretty simple there. You don't have to do much up to tucking. So there you go. I put the fit through. Pull that tight. You can know, this is pretty close together. This one doesn't have to be that close. But that's the way I'm choosing to do it. Are you skipping any? Yeah, I skip one, two. You don't have to be. You know, I got a mess right there. So. <coughs> you can skip one or two. I skip two right there. That's what I'm doing. Three tucks is plenty. And I try to get as close as I can to start out with that first tuck. Right close. That one there isn't as, should have been just a little bit closer. But it will work fine the way it is. Down here on the end, you can you can either cut that off a pair of scissors right there if you'd like, or I guess I can get one more tuck. It might be in closer. I don't think I'm going to be down two on this one, but I don't think it's going to hurt much out on the end. If you don't mind a little hard spot on the end with a hot knife then you're good to go right there. You can cut that or you can take a piece of friction tape which is like a cloth 
electrical tape, wrap around that end just to hold it down, hold the two ends to hold it in to the rope that you just tucked in. But that's that's what you get at the end. And it should should be no problem. I think it's nice and neat, smooth, goes through your holla. I don't see an issue at all. All hooks up real good there. There you go.